All right, this is the shell filling mnemonic. It helps us remember how to fill in the electron, uh, the electron sequence as the atom is filling with electrons. Uh, we always recall that electrons pile into an atom starting from the lowest energy levels up to the highest energy levels. This is just a way to remember how to fill each cell. The maximum number of electrons in each shell is two for the S shells, six for P shells, 10 for D shells, and 14 for F shells. So what we selected here was a series of atoms that form different ions. So we have anywhere from phosphorus to calcium. Phosphorus forms a minus three charge. Sulfur, uh, the sulf forms a sulfide anion. Chlorine forms a chloride anion. Argon does not form an ion because it's got a stable configuration, as we'll see. Potassium forms plus one cation, and calcium forms a plus two cation and they are ranging in atomic number from 15 to 20. So everything from 15 to 20 is listed here. I've written down the ground state configuration of the atom, meaning what is the atom's uh, electron, what the arrow, which orbitals are being occupied by the um, electrons in the ground state, meaning the ion, the, the atom is not an ion. So we can see that phosphorus ends in P3, sulfur ends in P4, and chlorine finishes in P5. So to achieve P6, which is the stable configuration of the nearest noble gas, phosphorus needs to gain three electrons, sulfur needs to gain two, and chlorine needs to gain one, and that's exactly what happens when they form ions. Phosphorus forms the phosphide anion, sulfur forms sulfide, and chlorine forms chloride. Um, on the other side, we have potassium, which has a ends in the 4s1 configuration. If it loses that one electron, it'll also have a 3p6 configuration. And calcium achieves the same by losing two electrons. The end result is you have five cations that are isoelectronic with argon, meaning they each have the same number of electrons, 18 electrons. All five of those, cation, uh, those two cations and the three anions all have 18 electrons and they all have the same electronic configuration, just like argon. And we can make some considerations regarding the size of these ions. Um, first of all, we realize that there are only 15 protons in the phosphorus anion holding on to 18 electrons, whereas there are 20 protons in calcium holding on to the same 18 electrons. So we can, we can predict that this has a higher nuclear charge Therefore, those 18 electrons are going to be held more snugly. Therefore, it's safe to assume that the calcium cation is the smallest of those, whereas the largest is the phosphide anion. And they range in size according to the nuclear charge. So phosphorus is the biggest, sulfide is next, chloride is next largest, argon is in the middle, and then potassium is even smaller than argon, calcium is smaller still.